Hi, today what I want to share with you is a healing meditation. It's something that comes to me often when I'm working with my clients and it has to do with implanting a seed of light into your heart that you can continually feed more light to in order to heal any aspect of your life. Um, I also transmit energy to those seeds of light that I have shared with my clients, with people who I work with, and we've went through a process to put this seed of light into your heart. So I thought I'd do in meditation, especially during these times right now where there's so much going on with this virus that has come to the planet at this time and space in March 2020. So um, that's what we're going to do here in today's video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach. And I'd like to share a process that comes to me often to do with implanting the seed of light into your heart, into your heart center, even into your physical heart, whatever it feels best for you. Um, it's gonna, I'm going to do this as a meditation, and we're just going to send that energy directly to you as you listen. So I would, re would recommend that you just get into a quiet space, um, where you can relax and kind of tune everything else out, closing your eyes, feeling really comfortable where you are. Um, those of you who might be listening while you're driving, it's fine. We can do, we can do it without getting deeply into the meditation, but I would still recommend that you listen again when you can really be quiet and not have to pay attention to anything outside of you. Um, cause I do share my videos on my podcast. And so, you know, that's why I want to just make that little disclaimer. So you can listen while you're doing other things, but I feel to really feel the energy as it's doing its work, it's good to quiet everything else out. So you ready? So I invite you to start to relax your body. Okay. So just even with your breath, breathing in, Slow, deep breaths, slowly letting it out, really bringing that air into your belly, like bypassing your lungs right to your belly. Feel your belly expand with all of that air and then let it out. Okay, and let's just start with pulling in light, this healing energy, this love of the universe. Imagine pulling that energy in with your in-breath sending it to every cell in your body and then gently releasing it letting go of any heavier denser energies within your body so we're bringing in light and we're releasing heavier energies so again breathing in feeling that beautiful light come into your whole body your whole energy field and then Slowly, gently, easily letting that energy out. And one more time, nice and slow. Breathing in and letting go. And so now just allow your breath to take on whatever rhythm it, that your body feels comfortable with. Acknowledge that your body has its own consciousness and that you can communicate with your body. So together, you as the spirit that you are and the body that you're in, just feel whatever feels comfortable with you, with your breath, knowing that that love is coming in, lower energies have been let go. And so now as you're breathing, you can imagine breathing that beautiful light and love in. And on the out breath, sending it out there to all of those who you know even those you don't know maybe just sending it to the whole universe you could call into your awareness anyone you know who's really needing some extra light right now and you can just breathe it in be that channel for the light and then just send it with your intention right out to whoever it is that you know would benefit from the light 
And also just know that even if they're not aware of this light or of how energy works, they will still receive this light because their soul understands and their soul will allow it if they're able to receive it. So from this place, this peaceful place, I want you now to imagine that that light that's coming in is going into every single cell of your body, like really lighting you up. And maybe you get a visual of that. Maybe you see the silhouette of you just glowing with light. Maybe you just feel and sense the energy that's building up within you and around you and expanding out further and further. This light might come into you with particular colors. It might be rainbow colored, or it might just be this beautiful white iridescent light. So give yourself the freedom to receive this light and this love. All right, so we'll just do a clearing for anything that prevents you and forbids you to receive light, to receive love, to receive healing. Everything that that is, we just want to uncreate and destroy it all, just letting it go, releasing all the experience, all those energetic, mental, emotional cords to all the times when you cut yourself off from receiving healing, from receiving light, from receiving love. We want to release all the vows, oaths, and decisions you may have ever made that prevent you and forbid you to receive this light, to receive this love, to receive healing, to allow healing for yourself. Yeah. So I'm hearing, let's also release any vows, oaths, or decisions that you've ever made throughout your entire existence that compels you and makes you be a channel of healing for others, yet prevents you from receiving that same healing for yourself. Yeah, so let's download for you what it feels like to be a channel for healing, to be able to receive that healing as it's channeling through you and going out. See, a lot of people don't even know or haven't acknowledged yet that they are healers, because we all are. So just feeling now this beautiful light, now that we've cleared some of the things that may prevent you from receiving healing for yourself, right? Just really, we'll even do it again. Why don't we do this again? We want to release all of the vows, oaths, decisions you may have ever made that prevent you and forbid you to receive healing for yourself. All those vows, oaths, and decisions that compel you to be the healer, to be the channel of light for others without including yourself in the same healings. So we'll download for you what it feels like to allow this beautiful energy to come into your whole system. You may even see it as this beam of light that comes in and kind of fills up this whole pole. Of that. You can imagine there's this pole that goes up and down your spine. And so that light comes in and it fills it with so much light that the pole can't, it feels as if that pole can't hold anymore, but then the energy just kind of breaks through and emanates out into every single cell of your body, every single piece of you, of your physical body, that body of yours that carries its own consciousness. So we're just joining that beautiful light of the universe into your physical body and now allowing that to expand out even further into your whole energy field above you, below you, everywhere around you. Just let yourself feel the fullness of who you are. And now notice how your energy starts to expand out past your body. And maybe it's going out five or six feet, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 feet. 30 feet, 100 feet, 100 yards, 100 miles. Just there's no limit to how far your energy can reach and expand because we are all connected. 
everything is made up of energy and we have these connections to everything that exists. So I want you to now imagine that you're just pulling energy in. We're going to pull energy in through the top of your head. We're going to pull energy in through the bottoms of your feet, energy in through your hands and feel that flow, feel that energy coming, that beautiful light, that love, that healing energy come in through the top of your head, go all throughout your body, out through the bottoms of your feet feeling energy coming up through your feet, up and out through the top of your head, coming in through your hands, going out through your feet, coming in through your hands, going out through your head. Just opening up your head, your hands, your feet to receive and pull energy from the universe. Just pulling in this light. And again, with your intention, you can decide to then send energy out. And so if you're ever feeling depleted, your energy is low, maybe, you're, maybe your energy is also emotionally low and you're falling into lower emotions, you can choose to just pull in energies, energy of love, energy of peace, joy, happiness. If you don't know, you know, you hear people say, what are you grateful for? Practice gratitude. If you're not sure how to practice gratitude, start pulling in the energy of gratitude. As you pull in this energy of gratitude, you won't be able to stop yourself from feeling, being, noticing all the many things that you are grateful for. And so what I'd like to do now is work with the seed of light. So there's so much light flowing to you, flowing through you, flowing with you. Feel yourself just kind of floating on this energy, expanding out further than you could ever even imagine. You don't know where your energy ends. Feel yourself just blending with all of the things around you, with your room, with your house, with your furniture, with the trees, with the ground. Like just really feel that energy. Uh, oh, I just had that visual of this blanket of energy going around the whole entire globe, right? We're just gonna light up the whole planet with this energy. Allow yourself to feel the energy. Anything that prevents you and forbids you from feeling and noticing energy. We now uncreate and destroy all of that, right? Wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. All right, just releasing that. Downloading for you what it feels like to be able to sense energy on subtle levels. And what it feels like to work with energy for your own healing and for the healing of others. Because when you can spread this light and this love, everything just takes care of itself. So let's release anything that prevents you and forbids you from having this, from, you already have it, from knowing your connection to the everything that is, to the universe. And anything that prevents you from working with that energy, receiving from that energy, communicating with that energy as energy and now from this peaceful place you're just glowing with this light it's just blended into everything maybe you can sense or feel or see the earth just surrounded in this beautiful light and just pulsing kind of like a heartbeat right just pulsing with that energy and so from this beautiful place, I want you to imagine you can hold your hands out in front of you and you just kind of see this seed. It just drops down into your hands, this little seed. But you notice that this seed has a glow to it, a sparkle. It emanates with light. It looks like it has form. It looks like a seed, but it's actually light. And I want you to hold that light out in front of you and grab that little seed, pick it up with your hands and just put it right into your heart. 
right into even the center of your body. You can actually put this seed wherever you feel drawn to. So just trust in your higher knowing and your higher self. If there is some sort of a physical ailment or illness or injury that you have, you can put the seed of light right into that energy right there. It's basically how I healed my rotator cuff tear, just putting light right into the injury. Within two months it was healed. So whether you put that seed of light into your heart, into your heart chakra, into some area within your body, I want you to see it there, to feel it there, to acknowledge and even declare that it is there. Maybe saying out loud, I acknowledge, I accept, I receive this seed of light that is now implanted within me. Yeah. So feel that buzz of the energy. Feel that connection. It was like, it's almost as if your body just sucked up the seed, like boom, just took it in. Like your body is so grateful. Like listen to the consciousness of your body. It's so grateful to have this experience of pulling in this seed of light. And let me tell you, this is real. This is really happening. So anything that prevents you and forbids you from knowing how real this is, can we uncreate and destroy all of that? Anything that prevents that from being true for you? I'm even getting really lightheaded from this energy. The energy is so strong. It's like... Uh, strong yet soft it's just kind of i was gonna say overwhelming but not all you know we think of overwhelm as a negative thing no it's just all-encompassing that's the word thank you spirit yeah all-encompassing you just the energy you're feeling this energy now even though we started with a little seed of light you're kind of just feeling that seed of light taking up your whole entire body with the light that it sends out. So what I receive from my guides is that by planting this seed within you, that you can keep watering it, keep feeding it light. That's your job. It's your only job to ask for light and send it right to the seed. Just imagine light raining down upon you and soaking into the seed, right? You can do it from your feet, your hands, and your head, like we were pulling energy before. You just decide I'm pulling in this beautiful light, this healing energy, this love, into my body, right to my seed of light. Yeah. And you see, the more that you call this beautiful light to feed your seed, the easier your life will be, the easier solutions drop in. It's kind of like it starts to put your intuition in on hyperspeed. <laughs> it's really awakening and enhancing you as the energy being that you are. Being able to work with this energy that we can't touch, that is not made of physical matter. To be able to work with that energy, that light, that love, with your body which is in this physical realm right and we implanted this seed which is more of a metaphysical and it's there within the physical the physical body so just feel this communion of your body and the seed how easily your body soaked that seed up and we're just going to thank the universe I want to thank my guides for bringing this to me and for allowing me to work with this and to learn more about how to work with this seed of light. And so I'd like you to discover for yourself how to work with the seed of light. But really all I'm hearing is all we need to do is to keep calling light to the seed, keep feeding the seed with light. Yeah, so especially in those times where 
you may be pulled out of your peace and pulled into maybe a collective group fear, like what may be going on right now with this thing going on with the virus at this time. Yeah, or it could be anything else that comes up in your life where you get pulled, like you know, you feel it, you get pulled out of yourself. Sometimes you don't realize it right away, and then a day or two you're like, oh my God, what happened to me? I was doing wonderfully just days ago. Maybe you forgot about sending light to your seed. But it doesn't matter, because in that very moment, you just call in the light, feel it come into the seed, feel as if this seed is kind of soaking that light in and is kind of picking up a rhythm, maybe the heart rhythm of your body, right? Fueling your body having really acknowledged this connection with your soul, having your soul and your body work together with this seed and including the mind but including the mind as an open, receptive place for the inspiration to drop in. And then you can work off of that rather than getting caught up in the mind, the subconscious mind, which is in a lot of most cases creating um, problems. Okay. When I have that clear and open, receptive mind that receives the intuition and that knows what to do next that hears the messages from the spirit around you, guiding you, right? This is who we are. So we're just, so what I'm hearing with through the seat of light, we're just really fusing together. Um, it's like a coming together of the soul and the body, working in union together with energy. And so now I just want to create a trigger for you. So maybe tapping your heart center or wherever it is that you implanted your seed of light, tapping that area, physically touching it. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah, to create this trigger to where possibly that's all you need to do is just tap. Okay, okay, I'm calling in the light. Breathe it in, pull it in from all directions. Yeah, that's all you need to do. So find your own way to work with this light. There's no right way, no wrong way. My guides always tell me there is no right way. Find your own way and keep it simple. So that's what I love about this seed of light because how, how, how much more simpler can you get? <laughs> and yet have this experience where you can enjoy or imagine a way of working with the light. So that's the purpose of the seed of light. And now I'd like you to just, we're going to close out with just really pulling in this light. Maybe you're pulling through your hands, your feet, your head. Maybe you're just pulling directly to the seed. Remember, there's no right way. Maybe you're just tapping that spot. We just want to feel this energy, acknowledge the expansiveness of it. and acknowledge yourself for having the ability to work with it. And so start bringing your awareness back into the space that you're in. Maybe feeling the chair beneath you, the furniture around you, wiggling your fingers, your toes, grounding yourself back in. You know, imagine just growing roots down into the middle of the earth into the core wrapping those roots around the core of the earth and just asking that earth energy to come up through those roots right up to the bottoms of your feet up through your legs your torso up into your head and then opening your eyes having this awareness of all of this energy knowing feeling this energy with in your, well, I put mine in my heart center, seat of light, knowing that you can work with this seat of light and create miracles in your life. That's what it's all about. 
We are creators and we are magical. And this seed of light is part of teaching us how to work with the magic. So I hope you enjoyed this meditation and I would love for you to comment below with your experience. Um, maybe come back to the video and comment about any experiences you've noticed that have some things that have shifted within your life. Times when you need a little extra light and you tapped on your seed or you did whatever it was that you called it in more light to the seed to feed the seed. That's our job. Feed the seed. Feed the seed light to light seed. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Bye.